in an aggressive mood, it's will go C5. for something apart from E5. There we go. Games are off. Okay, let's let's look at it. E4. Yes, of course. And no, E5. I don't play Petro. Okay, cool. Oh, the Berlin. Oh, uh, Berlin. And right. there we go. Oh, Berlin. there you have Berlin. It's an opening that's famous for peaceful positions and quick draws. Unless we see Maxim Vashir Lagrave take the approach known as the anti Berlin. Mm. And he did. And no, okay. no, no, no. Here we go, you went, Oh, they're going for the end game. They are going for the end game. And Maxim is the Bro. biggest expert in this end game from white side. We're going for the end game. It's happening. Oh my goodness. We can go to another game, yo. <laughs> Straight up, we'll another game. James like, oh, don't show me this stuff. Uh, the queens are off the board and James is off the commentary. He just doesn't want I'll any I'll see you later. Have a good one. All right, cool. See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Bittager, this is uh, such a solid opening by the black pieces. And of course, many of the greatest players of all times have... Are the ones to be blamed for how famous this opening is? Right. And we see that on the board and we might have more decide the results on the lower board. Yeah, quite possibly and there's a big story to this entire uh, thing here. Uh, at some point, there was uh, Gary Kasparov who was the greatest player in the world and he was playing the World Championship match against uh, Vladimir Kramnik and at that point, Kramnik said, I'm going to try to take Kasparov in the end game. And that is when the Berlin Endgame came into full force. It's been 23 years since then. And it's still standing strong for the black side. Joining us, by the way, right now is the very, very famous cricketer and a fantastic chess player as well, Yuzi Chahel. I used to. <laughs> One of the best in the world, taking all the wicket. But tell us a little bit about chess as well, because you have won a national championship. Yes. You're a strong player. I, I used to, like, you know, like uh, that link I can read right now. Because it's sort of like two decades, like, I left chess in 2003 and now I came back in 2023. And I'm back. Uh, yeah, it's not a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> not, not on the board. But this is your first time chess commentary. Right? First time commentary. Oh, wow. Oh. In my life.
sides win one game, Black has four points, White has three points. Oh, yeah. So that's why if MBL also wins, they can Huge win. Huge moment. Huge moment, Sagar. Back is Carlton, under 30 seconds here on the clock. Maxi Vashir Lebrav has picked up the pawn, and the reason this is better for White is again, it comes to pawn weaknesses. Look at White Brook targeting that pawn. It can be picked up for free. It's a free and the extra pawn for Maxi Vashir Lebrav. Yeah, I can take it, then I will check the check. A big threat on the board. Black can't even take this pawn right now because White Rook is connected to this pawn. Yes, Prague is now winning. Prague is winning. Wow. And look at Mattis. You can see the tension on his face right now. He knows he's got seconds, only 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, let's stick with this game for some time. I think. Let's go to the sixth board overview. 